In this lecture, we're going to look at bone cells. Now there's four different types of cells that are found within bone tissue. First we have the osteogenic cells, and these are undifferentiated, and they're going to develop into osteoblasts. Now we'll get into each of these cells in a little bit more detail um, in just a little bit. Uh, but when the osteoblasts get trapped within the calcified matrix, in other words, they get trapped within the bone, their structure and their function changes and they become mature osteoblasts, and at this point we call them osteocytes. Now osteoclasts, they develop from monocytes and macrophages, and they differ in appearance from the other bone cells. Now osteogenic cells, these are going to be the stem cells. As I mentioned, they're undifferentiated. When the time comes, if we need more osteoblasts, then they will differentiate into the osteoblasts. Now here the osteoblasts are immature bone cells that secrete organic components of the matrix. In other words, osteoplasts make bone. And then osteocytes, which are the mature osteoblasts, they maintain the bone matrix and they live in little spaces called lacuna. If you remember when we looked at the osteon, the osteon looked like it had little dished out areas with little legs on it. They looked like ants crawling all over the place. Those little dished out areas uh, were the lacuna and uh, it's the osteocytes that live in the lacuna. And if you remember the cannuliculi, those little things that looked like the legs coming off, as you can see on this osteocyte, it has little uh, projections or appendages uh, that uh, go off into those um, cannuliculi. And then we have the osteoclasts. And as you can see, it's a weird looking little thing. It's multinucleate uh, cell and it's going to secrete acid and enzymes. And basically what this does is it dissolves bone. It breaks bone down. To me, it looks like those little scrubbing bubble guys from uh, uh, the scrubbing bubbles commercials where you spray it on the bathtub and uh, they go about stripping away all the minerals and everything. Well, that's exactly what the osteoclast does. As we need to remodel bone or if we need to maintain our blood calcium levels, for instance, blood calcium level goes down, but we're not getting any calcium from the diet um, or we're not uh, absorbing it from anywhere else, and we need to maintain that blood calcium level, one of the ways that we can do that is to actually strip it out of the bone, strip that calcium out, put it into the bloodstream, and that would be the job of the osteoclast. Now normally osteoclasts and osteoblasts kind of work together. So as osteoclasts tear bone down, osteoblasts build bone up. Now they usually maintain a pretty good balance. However, what if the osteoclasts are doing more work than the osteoblasts? What's going to happen? Okay, the osteoclasts are going to start stripping away a lot of bone. If we strip away more bone than we're adding, then we can develop a condition called osteoporosis, and which is very severe. It makes the bones brittle and the bones can break quite easily. Now a lot of people, including myself when I was learning this, had a hard time remembering which made bone and which tore the bone down. Was it the osteoblasts that made bone or did it tear it down? Was it the osteoclasts? And me, I'm a guy, so when I hear blast, well what I'm thinking of is explosion and breaking things apart and well get that out of your head. Okay, because that's not the case. Blasts make things, and the osteoblast make bones. The osteoclast tear the bone down. And, well, here's a little way that might help you learn it. And so I walk up to this guy, and he's got a name tag on that says Osteoblast. And I'm like, well, hi, good to meet you, Mr. Osteoblast. Uh, so what do you do for a living? And then he tells me, I make bone. And I'm like, you make bone? Wow, that's pretty interesting. Do you like your job? 
And he says, Are you kidding? I have a blast making bone. And so there you go. Blasts have a blast making things. <laughs>